Hey guys, welcome back to another comic book news. I am um, I am Dazzling Kate and welcome to the first nerdy news of the year. Woo! Aren't we excited? Oh, this one is a this one is going to be very interesting. Now, I don't know too much about Vixen, so please guys don't come after me. I do know a little bit. She is briefly mentioned in a couple of comics here and there, so I know little bits. But I do know she isn't a lesbian. And, but, you know, we can blame the writer for that one. Anyways, yeah. Let's let's check it out. So DC turns Vixen into a lesbian. In Harley Quinn comic based on the, anima the animated series, blah blah blah. You know how I feel about the animated comic book. It just... It just doesn't work well to me. I feel like we've basically missed a lot of opportunities for, you know, like, you know, okay, I don't know. It feels like we've wasted this animated series to kind of be this annoying show. Like, originally, I did enjoy Harley Quinn, like, the Harley Quinn show, but, you know, as every episode continued... And then when you had some issues with some of the characters, it just got like, well, I had some issues with some of the characters. And, you know, when the comic was released, it was really difficult to really read it. And now that we're here learning more about the characters and such, it just doesn't make much sense to me. So, yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it real quick. Oh, yeah. Give me a minute. Okay. Let us learn about whatever the fuck this, ha like, whatever happened. And I'm going to start with this picture because this is looking very weird. I'm sorry, but what the hell? Why is the draft's tongue out? It. What is she going to do? Is she going to? Is she going to? I'm having more flashbacks right now, guys. Now it's a natural thing for this to actually... It's a natural th th I I Oh god. I don't know. It looks just kind of awkward to me. Why is the tongue out? Is she going to use the ugh. Ugh. I don't want to think about that. Ugh. But yeah, um why does this look really, really weird and awkward? Like, why, why does she look like she's not impressed? Well, not, not, not impressed. Uh, why does she look like she's awkward and not wanting to be there? It just seems like that to me. And of course, Vixen is going to use the tongue and she's going to use that tongue and use it really well. And he, of course, is going to watch because he's a creep. Why, 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 why? But, of course, in this new edition of, you know, Harley Quinn, it's basically, why, do, why, why? Okay, blah, blah, blah. Oh gosh. So she's planning on using her tongue. Why? Why? Oh, and you know, Finn's mentioned in this. He did bring up, like, you know, the whole totem thing passed on. I'm not going to go way into that, but it's interesting that he's mentioned. You know, that's really nice. But yeah, um. Of course, the writer behind this is, you know, name is Franklin. She basically accused um, Stephen Elmel of being a racist for not, in her opinion, significantly condemning racism in the wake of the George Floyd riots. Blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry if I'm offending you. <sighs> it's just... She's just... She acts like she needs to always be a part of, like, some issue. And, like, yeah. Here's what she's like... Like on Twitter. 
Oh, of course, you're going to put Harley Quinn Rider. Thank you. Thank you. I've always... I always feel like it's great that you're showing off, oh, wow, look, I'm the Harley Quinn Rider. And, of course, you know, it's just, like... It's just really weird. And she's just like, oh, wow... Fuck Steven. He's been showing us his racist ass ways for quite a while now. And his wife. Also, Grant Gustin ain't, absol ain't absolved because he definitely didn't support and speak out for Candace. And yeah, you know, he reached out and he's like, you totally nailed me. Hope that makes you feel better. I just followed you. So if you need, if, if you need something or you want to help me under, you know, help me better understand, hit me up and we can chat. Hey, look, the actor decided to follow her and let him let her know that you, you know, like you, you were right. You were right. Just, you know, may, you can, maybe we can chat or something, you know, friendly conversation. And it's like, what the hell? Like he's giving you an olive branch and it's just like, what the hell? Like, do you behave that way in front of your mom? I, I guess not. Like, I guess not. She's she's just she's way too good for him. Like you know. Just to be perfectly clear, the irony of Stephen Amell demanding a verified black woman to educate him. He was just, oh god. <sighs> That's supposed to be about amplifying and supporting black voices. Ain't lost on me. Amell knew what he was doing. He had no intention on responding or learning. <laughs> Sorry for the evil laughter. I, th I thought that would be a pretty fun, like, you know, thing to add to her character. Like, she she's like one of those supervillains that just, if, you if she doesn't get her way, she's going to throw a tan temper tantrum. And, like, you know, the hero can always flick her away and bam. Mm-hmm. Wow, I cannot believe how I was painted with this st And this is when, you know, Bounding into, Bounding into Comics made a publication of a report of the above incident, and she lost it. Wow, I can't believe I was just painted with the Stephen Amell issue. I'm not gonna link y'all, cause fuck him, but the audacity of Spencer Palicki. Way to paint me as the angry black woman. T. Franklin Smash! <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's... I, I really wanted to do that. Like, honestly, that... that I, I'm trying to add some more humor to this, you know? But, you know, women aren't funny. <laughs> yeah. The microaggression and stereotyping in this post makes me want to smash things. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you think she's going to write something about me now that I just made this video? Oh, of course, she's probably going to be like, well, you're not a black woman. You're a woman. And I'll be like, oh, well, you know, honey. <laughs> yeah, y you really can't win your way out of this one, honey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. The fact that I was chosen out of every other black woman who said the exact th same thing... What? What the hell? Oh wow, there my dogs just know that this woman's crazy. I'm ki I'm kidding, I'm kidding. She's not crazy, maybe. I don't know. It, did she have her breakfast? Usually when people don't eat their breakfast, they're always really angry with people. So yeah, can, oh my goodness, Evie, please. I'm fine. Continuing to spiral, Franklin further took issue with the fact that I was chosen out of every other black woman who said the exact same thing, failing to realize that her opinion stood out amongst the crowd due to her current position as a active creator in the comic book industry. Yeah, I really wish you weren't, but you know, you know how that how faith works. Like, fate puts people in weird positions, like yourself. Judging by the crutches on Vixen's blonde date and Franklin's notable disability, it seems like we have another case of a writer inserting themselves into a book just as fellow writer DC Mary Kotamaki did with the main character of I Am Not Starfire. <sighs> I guess I guess we got another book to read. I don't want to really read it, you know. I'm after the whole other issue with the like, you know, black woman with the who's also a lesbian coming in and you know helping Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy 
I, I kind of I kind of just stopped reading right after that because it was it didn't make much sense to me. But yeah, I, I guess she found Vixen to be very attractive and wanted to, you know, insert herself to like, you know, be fucked by Vixen, which is an interesting story. I mean, like, do you think she wants to add that to her? Um, Like, how much do you want to bet she made a story about that? But she's not going to post it. Like, honestly, I kind of feel like that would be interesting to see how she does with that. Like, do you think she made a, like, you know, a, you know, a naughty fan fiction between her and Vixen? Because she's like, I want to be like, you know, fucked by Vixen. Like, like how much do you want to bet she wanted that? Like, she, the first moment she saw Vixen, she's like, I want that to be my date. Like, the fictional crush of my dreams, that kind of shit. Like, do you really, like, do you think that's what happened? Th that's kind of weird, but, you know, Whatever. If you find her attractive, that's great, T. Or Franklin, or whatever you're calling yourself, ma'am. Anyways, uh, well, actually, since you're also calling yourself Harley Quinn Ryder, I guess we'll call you Har Harley Quinn Ryder, but... Anywho's, honestly, I'm just gonna, like, end the video here because there's not much to really report on. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, and if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did again follow me on my other social media onwards to the end I hope you all have a nice and safe day and until next time guys this is Dazzling Kate signing the hell out of here